Welcome back. This is Matt Yasa. I'll be talking about adjusting your flame today. This is called a surface mix torch. I'll start off by making sure all these knobs are closed, and then I'm going to open up the propane on my first stage. I'll turn my flame up a little bit and then add the oxygen. The flame should immediately turn blue, and then I'll adjust my propane and oxygen for a neutral flame. A neutral flame would be a perfectly mixed ratio of oxygen to fuel. And that is said to be 5 to 1. So 5 parts oxygen to 1 part fuel. These here are the jets of fuel. They're often referred to as the candles. They're blue with yellow tips at the end. They can be a good indicator of your oxygen to fuel ratio. And you'll notice right beyond the candles in the working area, it's a very deep and rich blue. That means you're getting a very hot flame there. And the next is the oxidizing flame. This is achieved by increasing the oxygen, you know, higher than normal amount of oxygen, and it'll shrink the flame down, turn the candles completely blue. The working area also becomes lighter blue. With that extra oxygen, it doesn't become much hotter. It can actually become a cooler flame. Without any additional fuel to combust, you're adding room temperature oxygen into the mix. So it should end up cooling your flame a little bit. And lastly, the reduction flame, which has a reduced amount of oxygen. The candles get much longer. The working area might increase in size, but not in temperature. Again, that extra gas will just cool down the flame. That nice wide heat, though, is great for rewarming your pieces. And then the extra fuel in the flame might have a reaction with certain colors. That also applies to the oxidizing flame. So it's good to research the colors you're working with to figure out the best approach. But for general heating, your neutral flame will always be your best friend. So thank you for watching this episode on flames. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comment section below. And if you want to see some of these flames being put to use, make sure to check out some of my other videos. And the solid color blowout video is a great example of a reactive color. I got some very deep and beautiful purple out of some double Mai Tai. Make sure to check it out.